If you've got something to prove on the diamond, today is the day to do it. It's tryout day at Indiana State University. But freshman catcher Corey Getz already has his spot reserved. It's a spot folks always assumed would be waiting for him. I remember when I was in Little League, uh, a mother of one of my players on my team, she came up and asked for my autograph because she knew one day I'd be there. And everything was right on track until a curveball in Corey's junior year of high school. Ooh. Notice, Corey Getz is a catcher. So how did this catcher end up with an infamously career-ending injury, usually reserved for pitchers? Well, one day Corey's coach asked him to fill in on the mound. So I started the game off, and we were winning probably 15 nothing or so. And boy, I was doing well, and my team was doing well. And um, I came to about the third inning, uh, two outs, and I just threw a fastball, and I heard a pop. Like many pitchers before him, Corey blew out the ligaments in his elbow. Remember, it was his junior year. Corey had already proven himself as a high school standout. But now, how in the world could Corey prove himself to the college scouts? Well, I remember my mom on the phone very vividly when the doctor told her and she was in tears and I just dropped to my knees and thought, well, what am I going to do from here? Am I going to have opportunities? The end of the world for Corey. And this ligament. But another increasingly routine case for Dr. Mark Cohen. He specializes in a procedure commonly called Tommy John surgery. The history behind the surgery is interesting because 20 years ago this was a career-ending injury for pitchers. And then uh, Tommy John is the most famous and he was the first professional baseball athlete to have the surgery. And since Tommy John's surgery we now have a better understanding of how the ligament fails and how to reconstruct the ligament. For Corey's surgery, Dr. Cohen removed connective tissue from the back of Corey's knee and used it to reinforce his elbow. Corey is a bit young for this procedure, but that's something Dr. Cohen is seeing more frequently as sports get more competitive at a younger age. Quite frankly, we weren't made to throw a baseball. Mm -hmm. And we weren't made to throw a baseball 90 miles an hour, 150 times, three times a week. One and a half hours of surgery, a year's worth of rehabilitation, gradually rebuilds the elbow's strength. Meanwhile, Corey Getz was also building determination. Well, through the surgery, I, I mean... I've worked this hard and got this far and still maintain this, so, I mean, if, if, if I wasn't hungry before, boy, I should be right now, shouldn't I? Corey can taste it, even if that taste is bittersweet. You see, before his injury, he was being courted by top universities. What surprised his doctor was, not that they all dropped him, but that Indiana State knew enough about the Tommy John success rate that they kept him. But Corey's far from regretful. He's too busy looking forward. I want to play pro ball, bottom line. I want to play pro ball. The future is in my hands. Whatever I do from this point forward will get me there. Now all I have to do is go get it. Corey Getz hopes to make it to the majors after college, but Major League Scouts already have their eyes on him.